But let's shift, uh, move on. And yes, it is Friday and one of the most awaited or should we actually say most talked about film, Brahmastra has hit the screens. Remember, uh, the Bollywood has actually, uh, Bollywood industry has seen a series of flops even as South Indian movies have delivered a pan-India hit. So looks like the Tinsel Town's hopes are riding on this epic saga which has the production budget alone of around 400 crore rupees. So how much exactly is banking on Brahmastra? Avan is here with the explainer and Avan, take it away. Lots riding on the film Brahmastra and you know it's uh, supposed to be an epic film, lots of VFX as you can see, lots of graphics, Alia Bhatt, Ranbir Kapoor, even the likes of Amitabh Bachchan uh, starring in the film. We had understood that the advance bookings were close to 80 to 90 crore rupees as of Wednesday. It's been dubbed in multiple languages and yes there have been a string of flop films so there was lots riding on this but just going by some of the recent tweets that have come out, I don't think it's going to board well. Taran Adarsh has explicitly said that the film is disappointing and we have another, um, you know, a trade analyst, Atul Mohan, who said that it it had all the astras in terms of money, star cast, VFX, except for a script astra, as he said. But yes, indeed, just let's walk you through the details. Uh, this. Uh, this is a film that uh, is a multi-starer and a lot of analysts were banking on a hit. 20 to 22 crore rupees is what they had penciled in in terms of the net opening for the film. The lifetime box, re uh, box office returns were estimated at 130 to 200 crore rupees. Now, uh, the dubbed collection language uh, returns were seen at about 15 to 20 percent of the overall net box office. Remember, the occupancy rates for a lot of the multiplexes have been around 18 to 19 percent in July to August. So that's been pretty abysmal. So they needed something to really turn things around. So consistent performance of Hindi films uh, going forward uh, after, you know, films like Brahmastra, that's also going to be very critical. So just let me give you a, a sense as to how previous films have fared. Liger, for instance, just about 17 crore rupees. Regional was about 65 to 70 crore rupees. You had Lad Singh Chadda, Lot was riding on that film. And that was a flop. The India box office collections, just about 60 crores. And when you compare it to previous Amir Khan, Khan hits with 200 and 2,000 crore rupees, this number really fails uh, in comparison. Raksha Bandhan, India box office collections, a meager 50 crores. Shamshera, about 63 crore rupees. Karthik to collected about 20 crores in terms of just the Hindi box office collections. So pretty much across the board you can see that. Upcoming movies that now, uh, you know, Bollywood watchers, trade analysts and uh, even consumers will really be watching out for are going to be the likes of Thank God, Circus with Ranveer Singh, there's Vikram Veda which is starring Hrithik Roshan, Ram Setu with Akshay Kumar. So a lot will be watched out for these upcoming releases but uh, Brahmastra which they were really banking on at least from the initial reviews looks like it's been a disappointment. Right, thank you so much for that, Avan, for taking us through what's exactly banking on or riding on the movie Brahmastra. A lot of hopes were pinned on it, but uh, what about the industry? What are the companies specific? And what's headed, uh, what's the road ahead uh, coming in for multiplexes? We are joined by Abhinish Roy, who is the exec Executive Vice President, Institutional Equities Research at Edelweiss Securities, joining us. Uh, very good afternoon to you, Abnish. And yes, look at what's happening to PVR and Inox Leisure currently in trade. Both of them are down and out. And this is because you are getting initial reactions to movie Brahmastra. What's riding on these companies? Yeah, definitely for uh, theaters, content and uh, the movie doing well is critical. Brahmastra, if you see, uh, was supposed to be a lifesaver uh, uh, a game changer from a near term perspective because last three months has been quite tough. Uh, yes, a lot of uh, marketing and hype has been very strong, which was a right step. Uh, also, we have seen that uh, the ticket sales advance booking has been very strong. So my sense is over the weekend, data will be strong. After that, it will all boil down to the script, uh, the expectation of VFX, whether that has been met because that's the general expectation, right? That this movie is very strong on VFX. So the consumer will check whether his expectations are getting met. Uh, definitely the star cast is very strong, but what we have seen also last three months is just star cast is not enough. Uh, the consumer has now got a lot of OTT options, a lot of other options because now uh, the mobility is also back. So in order to get the footfalls on a consistent basis, not just advance booking or the first weekend, what is required is definitely that uh, 
the script has to be strong the vfx the overall production quality has to be strong uh, if if the number one star takes 80% of the budget of the movie in the balance 20% these things start suffering so the industry has to take do a course correction in terms of the cost model and also because currently there is the inflation for the customer he is also prioritizing for the content which is really good then only he is going to see so over the uh, today's evening we will get more clarity on the consumer feedback for brahmastra whether the, the review is good because in the age of social media that's very important so advance booking data is very strong so let's keep uh, that also uh, in mind but yes reviews which happen over the uh, late evening tomorrow i think that is what will really drive in terms of how the overall performance of the movie is you know avinish we've seen you know big movies come they go same way small movies come they exceed your expectations as well you know uh you know so uh, why why i mean such a big disappointment i mean when you make 10 movies or 10 big budget movies one will go flop or two will go super hit so that's not uh, true right if you see last two months uh, all the uh bollywood movies ha have flopped only so yes the last big hindi movie was essentially kashmir files after that so many movies have come which had a very strong uh, uh actor cast also but still movies are not working so this kind of a consumer behavior is seen in a few years that when customer goes he spends a lot of money and then the content doesn't uh, click with him then he says that let me now go back only when i am sure on the content because now he has got plen plethora of other options so if you see last 3 months uh, we have not seen really any good uh, uh, bollywood performance in the regional also some movies have done well but lot of them have also not worked as per expectation so i will say brahmast is extremely closely watched it is not a like a typical film yes next big event to watch will be essentially end of the month for vikram veda my view on that is clearly that's a remake of a south indian film so we already know the content and that content is really good plus rithik roshan but unlike that in brahmast we don't know the content really right because it's a completely vfx scientific film Right. fiction and that kind of it so it's a good book over the weekend right uh you know just wanted to understand you're saying that last 3 4 months have not been that great in terms of content but it's just like saying that you know some players in the team are not playing well and they cannot hit a century in their 11th match because 10 matches or 12 matches they have not been performing no it's not like that so for multiplexes if you see they need one good movie every month uh so last 3 months uh, we have not seen that so it's very important that every month one uh, blockbuster is there because there are four weeks you would need to fill up uh, in terms of occupancy at least uh, upwards of 25 30% for a very good numbers right q1 was extremely strong for the uh, movie industry it was obviously the best uh, numbers uh, on every metric but after that it has been the other way around so yes we need every month one big hit for good health of the industry because see how this industry works is uh, one movie doesn't do well then the consumer behavior is more of wait and watch then the entire thing suffers right because so much of money is invested uh, up front the working capital etc starts getting suffered plus then the as i said 80% of the salary is get, uh, going in many movies towards the one one uh, big uh, star that's not healthy so i think uh, uh, it's very important to have a, uh, one good movie every month for this industry to do well yes course correction is happening in terms of content because in the last two years because of covid many movies did not release so some of those content was also old but yes now clearly uh, producers and script writers are going back to the table in terms of content what the what the customer want so hopefully we'll see better movies uh just uh, you know one word as far as uh, you know uh, movies or you know this media space is concerned uh you know do you believe that uh, more content uh, over the next second half uh, the rise of ott all of it can live together i mean you know uh, you know we we've, we've seen earlier movies getting flop but they still managed to do a break even sort of numbers but this time around even that has not happened Yeah, you are absolutely right. Uh, see, medium long term, I don't think there is any big question for the investors that OTT and movie theaters uh, 
uh, cannot coexist. I think both will coexist because in India, clearly there is a two month window which is there for any movie. Uh, in the last two years of COVID, that had become relaxed. But now, if you see, there is a two month window uh, which gives definitely a lot of space for theaters to have unique, unique content. So it's more of a near term concern on Q2 uh, that how the numbers will evolve because first two months has been very tough for the movie industry in Q2 uh, versus a extremely strong Q1. So this is more of a near term concern. As you uh, also said, these things are not very long term in terms of consumer behavior because in India we have very limited options a lot of movies can be seen in theaters only in terms of the visual effects not everything is OTT right and there is a two months of window also but yes consumer is going to spend money when content is good so that is uh, uh, absolutely required that is non-negotiable Absolutely, that is true Avnish and uh, given this scenario like you said the last three months have not been good for the multiplexes so does this mean that uh, they are uh, uh, the full year prospects now will uh, see a revision because a lot was uh, riding on these big releases no doubt we have Vikram Veda which is a remake of a South Indian movie that will be re released end of the month and yes the content of the movie is really good the South Indian movie was very good but uh, now you will have to rejig all your estimates right for these multiplex companies. Yes, from a Q2 perspective, we and the street would need to reaching numbers because uh, this you can do only when you have clarity on such big budget movies. Because as I said, Brahmas could have been a game changer for the industry. Uh, I'm still saying that we need to wait because yes, uh, the social media feedback from the general audience, I think that is what will drive. One or two experts uh, commenting, I don't think that's what we need to really see as the most important. They are they are relevant, but I don't think that is what drives. Uh, ultimately, if the general audience likes the movie, they will tell, uh, their word of mouth will be there, they'll comment on social media. That's how any movie uh, does well. So yes, there will be cut in numbers because first two months in Q2 have been weak. But if Brahmas also is weak, yeah. then maybe definitely Q2 is looking weak. But uh, uh, in terms of festive spends, we are quite optimistic. And uh, Vikram Veda definitely is before the festive season. In H2, we have a very good lineup of movies. And my hope is because now movies right. have not done well, course correction in terms of content is happening. Yes. yes, right. Uh, so uh, let's hope that uh, H2 is uh, good for the uh, multiplex companies. Yes, no doubt this one is disappointed. But let's wait for Vikram Veda. Hope that will uh, actually be the game changer for the multiplex companies. On that note, thank you so much, Abnish, for joining us on the show and taking us what exactly uh, this uh, particular movie and what's the scenario uh, meaning for the entire multiplex companies. On that note, we'll actually slip into a break on this edition of uh, Markets at Noon. But stay tuned. More on the other side. Don't go anywhere.